I'm a little bit orange because I filmed a foundation review today. But yeah, these foundations are a little... I know I'm looking a little orange. I'm wearing my summer shade right now. It is summer, but I am not my summer color. Because despite the sun being out, I am still in my house. Indoors. 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 Well, hi y'all. I am here with a another review and this time I'm going to be reviewing the Gamer Glam Desert Warrior palette. Now I got this package sent to me by Gamer Glam Cosmetics, thank you so much Jen, for sending me another product. Now I was first up the Space War or the Space Legend palette and I really liked that. I did do a stream talking about it but like I lost the VOD to that stream so rip to that. Now I also did a stream revealing this palette as well the day that I got it. I just kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit more. I don't know if I really got to expand on my feelings and I used the palette again today. I guess a soft glam everyday look. We are partnered with Gamer Glam Cosmetics. I was also able to create my own special code to give y'all 10% off of your next Gamer Glam order. So yeah, use code SHRIMPBACK97 for your next Gamer Glam order. SHRIMPBACK 97. I will have it linked below as well. Here is how the inside of the palette looks. Now this is just like the Space Legend palette. It's, I think this is a cardboard or foam case inside. It's shaped like a game controller, which I love. We're getting fall colors. It's giving fall colors. All of these colors are colors that I love to wear. These are like all my everyday colors except for this green but i will make it my everyday color all right i'm not even explaining the colors so we'll have some swatches right after this here is parched that looks like what like a champagne oh i'm gonna get this this is like a shimmery a gold almost like a mustard gold color and it's called arid okay this is arid it's a pretty nice gold. All right, I'm taking this color. This is like a, looks like kind of like a tan brown, but it comes out copper. Sunburn. Blech. Sunburn is this one right here. Sunburn is nice. That's like a reddish brown. Take Fool's Paradise. This is like a green. Swampy green. I mean, is that bad? Oh, it's giving forest. I know it says desert, but... <laughs> So far, I'm really enjoying the shimmers. I'm gonna try Desert Disco next. Okay. Oh, I'm not trying to flip y'all off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's giving rose. By the way, I tried rose. I tried drinking last week since I was on vacation. Pain. Trying to finish. That shit is nasty. It smells nicer than it tastes. But this is pretty. Oh, no. You shouldn't have gave me this color. That. Look at that. This is, oh, this is a brown. It's like a, a neutral brown. And then the next is bone dry. Bone, 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 bone. Pretty, that's like a warm brown. This is a great transition color. Sand dune. Is it kind of, it's really similar. So it's close to my skin tone, but you could, you could, you could see it there. It's just really close to my skin tone, so it's probably hard to see, but it's like an orangey color. I would like to blend out this color with that one. On my eyes right now, I have sand dunes, got bone dry, Wait, you go? drought, badlands, desert disco. Without further ado, let's get into this palette though. First, I'm using drought to line my upper lid. I'm doing this first because I didn't know how to start this look. Then I'm gonna take sand dune and place that all over my lid as a base color. This shadow is super smooth and it gave my eyelid some coverage too. Then I took bone dry and I began gently pushing the color underneath my crease bone with the Gamer Glam crease brush. I'm going to use sand dune and a fluffy crease brush to blend out bone dry to create a softer gradient. I went back and forth between blending with sand dune and adding more bone dry to deepen the crease. 
Then I only needed to tap my crease brush into Badlands to get a color payoff. Starting at the outer corner of my eye, I blended that deep, cool tone red under my lash line. I could spend hours blending my crease because it's therapeutic, but I'm just making sure that I have a smooth gradient. Then I'm taking Desert Disco and I pop this in my inner corner for a highlight, but it wasn't shimmery enough to give me that pop of shine, so I took a flat shadow brush and I extended it over the inner third of my lids. With Catrice's More Than Glow highlighter, I took that same tiny brush and I used that as an inner corner highlight. And I also took an angled shadow brush to apply a touch of highlight under my brows. Now I'm just lining my eyes. I did most of this off camera because it's really hard. And I applied my lashes. And then I topped it off with Lash Princess Mascara. Yes, I like to smell things. Then I used the Hemp and Mint Glow Lip Balm before applying the Powerful 5 Liquid Lip Balm in Sparkling Dragon Fruit. And that is the look. Super wearable everyday look for me. Yes, I believe red is an everyday color in my world. Really, really love this one. That's one of my favorites. This is literally my skin tone almost exactly my skin tone and so i love this especially for like cut creases i mean i didn't do a cut crease today but i will um i have it on my lid as the main color right now and it just doesn't it just look like my foundation color i love that for me um badlands and i think that's my favorite color in this whole palette i think it comes out great on me <laughs> hell if anything let me put some more on you can just never have too much red I, I love the mattes in this palette so much. Yeah, I have Desert Disco from the inner lid to about the outer third. That's how far I blended that in. So I stopped it about here and kind of faded it in towards the center. So it's not really too noticeable. Honestly, it doesn't even really look that pink, which is interesting. I'm adding more and I'm like, yeah, this is, yes, it does have pinks, but like the main sheen is going to be like a gold sheen with like a little bit of pink flex in between. It comes off very gold when I put it on my eye, but when I swatch it, I can see the pink. Oops, sorry for that noise. I hate you, autofocus ring. One of my favorite things about Gamer Glam Cosmetics palettes is that they come with this eraser. It's this eyeshadow eraser and I think it works so 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 well. I can clean up my brushes in between use. Let me see. Oh! Gone. Nothing else on here. This is so perfect for cleaning up your brushes in between and it'll help you prevent from building up too much color too. It's great, great, great addition to every palette. These shimmers are so nice the colors come out real buttery and i didn't have any fallout like no fallout guys none and i know not everybody cares about fallout and i thought i didn't care about fallout too until i tried color pop i will say this again i'm i don't intentionally come after color maybe i do but it's like i i have a love hate with color pop I, ooh, ooh, not my eyes being dry. I, 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 yes, I. Sometimes wearing contacts is just so annoying. <laughs> That's how I feel about the Gamer Glam Cosmetics palette. So I'm pretty much just regurgitating my thoughts from the stream that I did and uh, from using it today. Gamer Glam is the bee's knees. Like, I, I'm so happy with this palette. I think the pigments is good enough so that everybody can use it. And that's super important. I've never had to lighten my base. I don't have to use a lighter base or lighter concealer at all. They just work on my skin. I highly, highly, highly recommend this palette. If you're worried about storage, I will say storage can be kind of a problem. I, <laughs> I'm constantly shuffling this palette around in my drawers. It would bother me if I didn't like the packaging so much. I like the shape. It's cute. I mean, it's gamer glam. Like the black. These are really, really great for decoration as well. So once I get my, once I get my desk situated, my desk situation all fixed up, this will be a nice little fixture on there too. Well, yeah, again, if you wanted to try Gamer Glam Cosmetics yourself, I have the link below. Also, use code SHRIMPBACK97 for your order if you want 10% off. 
But until then, I will see y'all next time. Peace.